Hi, welcome to the 13th chapter in Selenium using Java. That is Selenium Locator Best Practices. This video is brought to you by Ankro Training. Subscribe to our channel in YouTube to get the latest updates. In this video, we are going to discuss about Selenium Locator's Best Practices. This is very important topic as Selenium automation depends on locating the elements and acting upon it. We have to be very careful while choosing which locator to be used. If we do not choose the right locator, we may fall into the script maintenance hell. We should adopt a right locator strategy. Now let's see what are all the best practices we need to follow. First, if you have a access to the developer, ask them to add the IDs to the elements in HTML code. Next, if the application under test has lots of dynamic IDs, then target the stable part of the ID. See, suppose span ID is equal to my product 123 and the text is XYZ mobile phone, close span, then target only my product in that ID. Your order of the locator should be if the target is single element then you can go for either ID or a name or CSS selector or relative XPath. If your target is multiple elements then go for class name, tag name, CSS selector or relative XPath. If your target element is a link with a shorter link text then go for link text locator and href. If your target element is a link with a longer link text, then go for partial link text that is href. And always keep your xpath or css short. Instead of double forward slash div slash table at the rate id is equal to my table, use double forward slash star id is equal to my table. Instead of due table ash my table, use ash my table only. See if you do not get a element with the ID or name, use the parent or child element as your reference in your relative expert. See suppose this is an HTML code, that code is having an ID is equal to subject and class name is content and it is an unordered list. In the list there are three elements that is English, Maths and Science. See, if you want to identify the English, then we need to go for web element first subject in CSS selector, driver.find element by.css selector, ash subjects, li colon first set. Or if you are using an xpath, then web element first subject equal to driver.find element by.xpath double forward slash star at the rate id is equal to subject slash ul slash child colon colon li of 1 that is the index like this we will use a child and parent relationship when there is a no id and name avoid absolute expert see this is the absolute expert your context element span will not be accessed if any of parent element is added or removed. Avoid specifying the complete HTML tree. You should look for relative XPath points as close as possible to your element. Avoid using XPath and CSS finding tools like FirePath and CrowPath to get XPath or CSS as they may not give you an optimized xpath or css always keep a cheat sheet in your work desk the possible interview questions on this topic are what are the best practices of selenium web driver locators what is the locators priority order subscribe to our channel on youtube like us on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin and finally, don't forget to give your feedback in comment section. Thank you.